the etheric vortex gloom tide shipwreck coming up next on monster hubbies what's in the box what's in the box what's in the box what's in this box what's in the box hello everybody my name is trevor slescu and i'm the owner of monster hobbies in high river alberta canada welcome back to another games workshop edition of what's in the box where we're gonna look at this cool um gloom tide shipwreck that just came out not too long ago there's what it looks like on the back of the box might be easier to see on the camera here now this is a really cool um, scenery piece it actually comes in two parts and it's actually used for one of the armies they even have of course rules included uh, but yes i got this to build as a scenery piece for wargaming tables so this will be pretty cool even comes with some gw fish so Without further ado, uh, let's go down, way down into the deep waters of Model Kit Coolness and open it up and see what's in the box. Welcome back to another unboxing as we take a look at the Gloom Tried Shipwreck by Games Workshop. So, I bought this nice ship model so that I could open it up and show it to you, as well as build it for a scenery piece on our tabletop. And what makes this cool is it comes with these little fish. So, uh, let's open up this box and see what's in it. Gotta get my knife under there. Yark! Okay. Shake it loose. There we go, nice box. Okay, to start with, don't look at that. <laughs> okay, to start with, we have our instruction sheet, which shows us how the ribs of the wrecked boat go together. Before assembling your miniatures, please read through the instructions in this booklet carefully, or else. Actually, I've known a few guys that have glued parts upside down, not necessarily in the ship here. Oh, here we go. We're looking at it this way. No, we're looking at this this way. But yeah, you can see some nice assembly going in here. And they show you the right way to do it. Uh, you've got a figurehead here that's holding a big axe, or a hammer, sorry. And it shows you how to glue them together per step and what it should look like. So that's a good instruction feature. So there, it says glue that there, and then after it shows you what, that, what you just did, so you can have a good guide. And there's the old ship bell on there. Instructions are fairly thick. And we'll just kind of breeze through them here. If you've never built a boat, this is your chance. It's a nice lamp lantern at the back. Okay, and so there's what it looks like at the end. And these are the fish that you get. And then they give you the gaming rules in English and other languages here. <laughs> I think there's German, French, and Spanish, if I'm right. Oh, and then one more on the back here. So, quite... You can see that's pretty thick. Now, let's look at the plastique. Okay, so there is our boat. And look at the nice wood grain detail in here. What's that? Is that a fish? I don't know what that is. But it is cool. Oh yeah, it is fish. Okay. They are a little school of fish. There's three. One, two, three, and they're kind of caught going over top of a rock with some coral. This would make a good little fish tank display too. These fish kind of look like they're from the Devonian era. 
So if you have a very tiny creature from the Black Lagoon, you could throw them in here. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay, so you can see here they even have barnacles. The barnacle is on the boat. And that would be the floor, and there's some pottery and stuff that this ship would have been carrying before it sank. Okay, let's look at the second piece. Well, there's the mast. Okay, hang on. Now, look at that detail on the ropes. And the knots in there. There's some more fish. Again, they have that sort of pre-primitive uh, look. But like dinosaur era fish. And there's our, the arms of the figurehead there. And the bell with a little pole in the bell. And there's the face. <laughs> face of the figurehead. Okay, here's the next one. You're actually getting four sprues in here. Look at that detail work. Look at around the windows. Quite nice. There's even, even fish swimming in between here that you can paint. This is a painter's dream with the barnacles. Neat stuff. And if we flip over again, they've got detailing everywhere on this with that wood grain. Just makes for a very nice mold. And now the final. Now this is where the ship attaches on the ground. Oh, they've got a remora in there. Or the Warhammer World's version of one. Look at all the treasure down there. There are starfish. This is cool. There's an, octop an octopus or something. Tentacles. And of course, skulls from the crew. Ah, there is the back of the boat with the Sigmar logo on it. So you know this was a, a Sigmarite ship. And then, of course, more of those fish. Uh, and there is the top deck. There's a sex tent right there. And underneath, the detail again is carried through. Not the wood grain, but at least you get the lines of it. And the rafters go in there, the back. That might have been a wallpaper or something. Maybe that's supposed to be the concept of it. I don't know. I've never been on a... Well, that's not true. I went to Disneyland. They had that old wood ship there. It used to be the restaurant. And I've got a model of that, too. But anyway, that's what it looks like. So, that brings us to the conclusion of the Gloomtide Shipwreck from Games Workshop, Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we got to look at the Gloom Tide Shipwreck. Whoa! Whoa! And I hope you can check out some of our other videos of cool things that we've unboxed. But before we do that, if you'd like to check out what other neat Games Workshop stuff I have available that I can ship out anywhere in Canada, please check out this link right down there. See, I'm on, right at the edge of the screen. See, there's a link down there. You can click that and it'll take you right to our website. And if you'd like to make a contribution so we can watch more of my videos or whatever you want to do there, please go to my YouTube homepage and look in the banner and there's a little PayPal icon somewhere up there. <laughs> and you can click on that and make a contribution, which would be much appreciated. Uh, and if you would like to see some of our other unboxings, please check them out here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification button right here. I'm giving you the old call to action. Action! All right, until next time, happy model building.